swimming have arrived. Yep. What, what do you do with them, first of all, Simon? Well, I, I look at them. I see right. what, how they're dressed, how they talk, what they're doing, just right. trying to get an idea of where they're from. Yeah. I look at their equipment. I look at their pedals. Right. The first thing I'll do is I'll go to the, the drum kit and think, uh-oh, no bass drum. So he's got a pedal, so there's some electronics involved and there's a, a pad here, so right. I'll go through that. Uh, he's got one snare drum and a hi-hat and some cymbals and some other stuff going on there, so I'm making a, a mental note of what I'm going to use, how I'm going to do it. Um, some of it I have plugged up already because the electronic stuff, believe it or not, I find always harder to record than actually sticking a microphone in front. There's, you can't see it and there's more things to go wrong. Right. So as I, I have a look at the bass, um, he didn't bring an amp, so we've got actually um, our own spare amp here. So I've mic'd that up. Well, I'm going I'm to mic that up. He's got pedals. I noticed one thing here. He has a Sans amp, which is like um, a, a, a speaker simulator. So uh, I'm a, be aware of that. We've got two guitars. There's a Fender Twin over there. Um, and there's another one here, Marshall Combo with a Sound City amp. That's another thing. Uh, with two vocals. Uh, the guitarist is playing here, and we've got a keyboard player playing his laptop, and he's also singing. So I've got everybody in a sort of circle because I think that's the best way to record. I'm not, as I say this again and again and again, I'm not here to make a perfect recording. So spill. You know, the, if you've got two people playing next to each other, some of the sound from one guy is going to spill onto other mics. I'm not worried about that. I'm just going to go with the flow. Um, so, yeah, I've got everybody in a circle so they can all see each other and they're all comfortable. Um, the first thing to do is to decide what mics I'm going to use. And I have my own... We have our own microphones here and I have my own personal favourites and that's what I'm going to put out. And I want you guys to help me. So, um, let's start off with the drums. Um, we need, uh, we're going to need a couple of microphones on the snare. I mic the top and the bottom. Um, so, uh, two volunteers. Come through, sir. Hello. What's um, your name? My name's Jake. What, what do you do? Where are you from? Uh, I'm, uh, well, I live in London now and I'm a drummer for Josh Weller. So. Ah, cool. Perfect. OK, brilliant. So, Jake, I need you to look after the snare. Yeah. Um, there's no point in going through what various microphones I could use. I use a Shure 57 on the top and I use a Bear M201 on the bottom. So let's go to our mic cupboard and grab a couple of them. He says, where are they? Where are the 57s? Perfect. There, there's one 57. And we'll put that on the bottom. That's mm -hmm. a Bear M201. So there the stairs. Uh, George will show you the cables. I've already done the hi-hat and the cymbals, so that's the drums kind of sorted. As I said, um, one thing I forgot to mention that's really important, um, I need to know how the drummer's going to... He's playing to a backing track, and I need to know how he's going to time himself to the backing track. He has an iPod, which has a stereo output. On one side, there's a backing track, and on the other side, it's a click track. So I'm going to take that through the desk and I'm going to feed his headphones with the click track and separate the backing track from that. So that's one thing I've, 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 I've set out. So that's drum sorted. Right, bass. Um, recording bass, I always use um, a DI, direct injection box. Um, you get basically the sound that's coming off the pickups before it goes through his pedals and through his amp. So I'm going to take that as a feed. I already mentioned he has a Sans amp. I, I'm not wild about them, but I'm going to record it because I don't know exactly what he's going to be doing and there might be some, you know, pretty funky stuff coming out of that. So I'm going to record that separately. And I'm also going to mic the cabinet. So another volunteer, please. Go on, sir. Yee. What's your name? It's Curtis Asayas. Hiya, Curtis. Uh, and what? Are you a guitarist? No, I'm actually a producer, but it's, everything's good. It's all good. OK, cool. <laughs> Hi, mate. How you doing? Hi, Some yeah. Simon. So, um, this is what we're going to use as a bass mic. It's an old 70s um, mic, high quality. We're going to use that okay. as a mic stand there. I'm also going to use a DI. Okay. Now, 
the program path of his bass comes out of the cable and goes into his pedal. I want this straight after the guitar and before the pedals. So we're going to go in there, out there, into his pedals. Okay. Mike, and then I'm going to take a, a feed from the sand amp as well. And we're going to sort of run over to a tie line there. So do you want to get that on? Yeah, no problem. Lovely, and we'll move on to the guitars. Thanks. Nice one, Curtis. Thanks, one. Um, we've got two guitars. They're both different. Uh, this has a, a 2x12 cabinet, closed back. Um, there's certain microphones I use for this. Over there, we've got a, a Fender Twin, which has two tens, and it's a, an open back. Uh, I'm going to use two different methods, two, two mics on each, both slightly different, and I'm going to show you the difference in the control room later. So another volunteer. Step this way. What's your name? Where are you from? Hi, I'm Chrissy. I'm from Milton Keynes. Hi, Chrissy. Hi. So, um, again, I'm going to use two microphones. This is a Shure SM7 that can go on there, and this is a Norman U87 that can go on that one. And we'll wire those together to one of those points, and we'll deal with George. Is that cool? Can you do that? Yes. Um, when you've got them in, I'm going to talk to you about where they go placement-wise. Mm -hmm. All right? OK. Another volunteer for the other guitar. Go on. Hiya. What's your name? What do you do? Uh, I'm Abe. I write, produce, you know, kind of just look cool in general. OK, <laughs> wicked. Hey, Abe, how you doing? Simon. How's it going? Cool. I want to introduce you to um, a BBC microphone. OK. So it's a ribbon mic. It was patented by the BBC in 1953, and it's sort of the daughter of those big square ones you saw in World War II, okay. big AXPTs. So are they only, has only the BBC got <laughs> mics like that? No, um, they're commercially made and they're commercially oh. available in the shops. Okay. So there are alternatives, right. but this is the BBC's own 4038, beautiful microphone. It has a ribbon that runs up and down like that. And there's a rip it moves in one plane like that. That means if I talk like that, you'll hear me. But if I talk like that at 90 degrees to it, you won't. Yeah. So it has a figure of eight pattern. Polar pattern. Polar pattern. Yeah. And you'll notice that I've got the guitar slightly slanted from the drums. And th the plan is to have the mic with the dead side on the drums. Um, these are very delicate, so I can't go too close to the guitar. If he's loud and I'm here, it will just break the ribbon. No, you don't want that. So I'll be off a good 12 inches, maybe about there. But using the pattern to get separation, little trick I do. Uh, this goes into some beautiful old brassware goes there, that goes on there, and it'll be like that. Uh, another mic, I'm going to have this really close. So do you want to get those up yeah. and cable those to the wall and make a note of the tie lines that we're going into? George will show you that. Yeah. Right, uh, two, uh, another, vo another volunteer for keyboard. Um, basically what we've got here, I've had a look, we've got a, a sound card, sound box that's uh, running uh, firewire out of the laptop and the MIDI. So as a stereo out there, that's going into this di, di so I'm going to need two lines, cool. maybe going over there, yep. if you could do that. Yep. Two XLR cables, that's cool. brilliant. Yep. And, what, uh, sorry, yeah, and yeah, one more volunteer to do the mics. Oh, over here, here we go. yeah. Hi, uh, what's your name? Hello, I'm Robin. Hi, Robin. Hi, Robin. Um, we've got the band in a room, they're all in together. I need a mic that's quite tight um, and a standard and sure SM58 is a standard. We, I just yeah. love them. So we're going to use that. So I need two XLRs, take that and the other mic to a tie line. Mic line there and George will show you how that's going to happen. 